Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Militaria. Today we're looking at a couple of fairly unusual Soviet and Russian era cartridges. And those of course are the top two. Uh, they are actually for underwater weapons. Uh, the Soviets were a pioneer in terms of underwater assault weapons and pistols and submachine guns. So what you've got uh, down at the bottom uh, are starting off with a typical 762 by 39 for the AK, a 545 by 39 for your AK-74. Then you've got a 5.66 by 39 for the APS underwater assault rifle. Now this is a round that was developed in the mid 1970s for an assault rifle that was going to be used and issued to Soviet frogmen. The rifle was designed by Vladimir Simonov, who was related to the designer of the Simonov SKS 45 rifle. Um, this is a live round with the 120 millimeter dart inside it, and it fired from uh, an unrifled barrel using just hydrodynamic forces to stabilize the dart. And you had to make the dart excessively long or else underwater it would just tumble and be completely inaccurate. These actually are exceedingly accurate for the range they were made for. And underwater, it depends on the depth that you're at, but they're effective down to about 120 feet. And at that range, you've got something close to about uh, 20 feet effective range. Uh, obviously, higher up on the water column, you've got less, uh, less pressure on you. So you've got a little more range and it kind of goes up from there. The gun actually can be fired on land as well. However, whereas underwater you can fire about 2,000 rounds of these out of your gun before it starts to have issues, uh, up top side you've only got about 180 rounds and then your gun is going to have some issues and probably need some repairs. Uh, they're not a particularly common round. Uh, they do have a standard type head stamp with the year and the factory number. Uh, they were not any kind of covert round or anything like that. The weapon itself was standard issue to Soviet frogmen, who originally had just been issued a knife, basically. And this was uh, much better than a knife because it actually had penetrative power for uh, light submersibles or uh, heavy dry suits or anything like that. It was a, a pretty lethal round that I definitely would not want to come up against uh, underwater. Um, they are still in use. They have been supplanted by other underwater weapons uh, through through now, but they are still in use by, um, I believe, Georgia, Azerbaijan, uh, Serbia still uses them. So the ammunition and guns are do still have a calling and a use. Uh, obviously, probably not a lot of underwater combat going on all the time, but I wouldn't be surprised if they have been used in combat and fired in anger before. Um, rather unusual round, nothing you see very often. Uh, as I said, the, they are fired from the APS assault light rifle with a 26 round uh, box magazine. Uh, very ingenious design. Nothing I am going to go into right now just because the cartridge is kind of the focus here. And above this, we have the 4.5 by 39. And this is for a, an underwater pistol. And that's for the SPP underwater pistol, which is a four barreled semi automatic uh, pistol, kind of on the, the Derringer uh, concept, where each barrel fires in succession as you pull the trigger. Uh, these were a product of the late 1960s, early 1970s, when the Soviets were really looking at these for uh, uh, sort of self-defense of divers for something better than a knife if they were guarding uh, battleships or any kind of Russian ship. And they were issued, now they've got a brass case, whereas your APS round has a lacquered steel case. 
so just something a little bit different but this is the 4.5 by 39 obviously staying with the 39 millimeter case length and your excessively long dart inside it so uh, again um, it's gonna super cavitate when it fires and that's gonna stay stable and basically act like a spear gun uh, the SPP is still in use it is um, it, it's been supplanted by a better version with a better trigger pull and a couple other uh, sort of quality of life features but it is still used I believe it's been copied by Iran and they've definitely have been exported as well but the ammunition does not show up very often uh, it's fired as i said it's got a four round capacity uh, when you are done with it you basically pop your gun open kind of like a derringer and you eject your four rounds which are held in kind of a half moon clip and then it's reloaded you can reload it either above water or below water and you're good to go for another four rounds this particular round is also live and it has no markings on the uh, head stamp so or no no head stamp on the uh, on the base I don't believe it's because of any kind of nefarious uh, covert action but just uh, probably space related and uh, they didn't make a lot of this ammunition so I don't know that they needed to necessarily mark it but it in any way any event these are interesting rounds that are not seen too often in the West and I thought I'd uh, kind of just share them with you guys as always if you are interested in any kind of unusual historic military remember to like and subscribe if you've got a couple of these floating around in your collection I'd love to hear about it and where you got them anyway remember like subscribe share comment all that good stuff thanks for watching